welcome to our brand new podcast that we are calling Paltry Squabbles, where we will be arguing about whatever dumb shit we think of. Anything we want, really. Anything stupid that uh, we've got strong opinions on, and that's, trust me, I've got strong opinions on a lot of stuff. My name's Alex. And my name is Blaine. It is nice to have everyone join us. Yeah, we're arguing about whatever topics we come up with, but we will eventually you know, need some help coming up with things to argue about. So if there is anything that you want to hear us yell at each other about, uh, just hit us up with an email at paltrysquabbles at gmail.com. That's P-A-L-T-R-Y-S-Q-U-A-B-B-L-E-S at gmail.com. Can you spell gmail for me? <laughs> it's, uh, it. it starts I'm not sure what it is. with a J. No, it's G-M-A-A. I cannot spell it that fast. Ah. G m a i l dot c o m in the dots the period button huh, nice so yeah a little bit about how this will work uh, each week we will be bringing forward a few topics of discussion that we feel very strongly about and yeah we're pretty much just gonna fight to the bitter end all right so i think why don't we hop into it blaine i'm gonna be honest with you friend i don't What's fucking up? like onions at all i think they're an awful vegetable and I know I'm in the minority here, but I also know that I'm right. See, you're not right, because onions are in pretty much everything. And do you want to know why onions are in everything? Almost everything. Because they're so damn they're just good. Not. They smell like ass, they taste like ass, the texture is ass, they're terrible, and the fact that they're put in everything is an atrocity. Like, how did every culture in the entire world find a little vegetable in the ground that smelled like ass, and then say, oh yeah, I wanna, I wanna eat everything with some of this, are you kidding me? It makes you cry! It's not a good vegetable! Your body literally smells it! Your body smells it! Makes it. Your body smells it, and it starts crying. Why would it do that if it weren't a terrible vegetable? It makes you cry because you're cutting into it. You're like, oh man, this is amazing, butte, this, this good old butte, I gotta cut it up like this? That's why you cry. Plus, it goes in everything. It's such, like, a good seasoning, a good aromatic. You know, it's like, the, it's the exact same thing as a garlic bulb. Well, you throw that shit in okay. there and it's, like, get, got that little good texture. You got that good hit of flavor. Okay, you got okay. everything thing, you need though, in there. It's not the exact same as a garlic bulb. And, and you want to know why, Blaine? I've actually got, I've got a very scientific reason going on here. Um... Onions are called onions, and we're, we're bringing absolutely we're bringing science onions into this. You are called onions, nerd. and garlic is called garlic. It's either not the same. Now, garlic, that shit's fucking fantastic. I'll put it in everything. I can't have too much garlic. My liver for garlic. That's another topic. Onions, though, they're awful. They smell bad. They make you cry, <laughs> and I hate them. That was kind of the same points. See, you're not even bringing. You, yeah, you're not even bringing in the flavor profiles into here. You have so many different options of onion to choose from. See, if you cook down yellow onions, those sweet, delicious yellow onions, you cook those down, you got nice caramelization in there, they get nice and soft, oh, they're so actually, tasty. If you want something that's okay, if, okay. if you want something that's raw, you can go for your red onions. Now put that shit in a salad, and then you got raw See, onions. No, you you, you you touched there. Red onions I, can I'm gonna go be honest, away. I ignored the second. I heard caramelization and I got instantly angry again. I I missed what you just said, and I'm sorry, Blaine. But also, <laughs> you caramelize onions. I don't. They don't taste like caramel car or caramel car. I say caramel. Some people say caramel. I feel like caramel's a bit uh, off topic again. They don't taste like caramel. Why do you caramelize them? I don't like them. Uh, they're terrible. They're bad to eat. You cook down you you cook down the sugar contents in them. And they just get this delicious flavor. You're not literally well, making yeah, I know caramel. That because you're it would taste off. You're not like you're not like melting down like straight sugar to make caramel, and then there's chucking onions in. What are you? A I might be because I put onions in things. Oh, look at me! I'm gonna put onions in a burger. I'm gonna put onions in a salad. Oh, I'm gonna put onions in some caramel. I love onions. See, that's what you all sound like to me. Most people <laughs> in the entire world. <laughs> I just... No one is putting straight onions into a caramel. Okay. Somebody is. <laughs> but... Ca caram 
Yeah, if you if you want to prank someone on Halloween, like, oh guys, it's okay. a caramel yeah. apple. Don't worry. And then you bite into it, and it's a straight okay, up. Onion. Actually, so that's a great idea. I'm off topic now, absolutely, but I cannot <laughs> not talk about you've you've putting... not seen those you have not seen those videos where people like their parents prank their children by just caram like doing a caramel apple that's actually oh, an I, onion. I have onion. seen uh. Ferro Rochers that were actually Brussels sprouts dipped in chocolate. <laughs> All right, but uh, anyway, onions suck, and I think we both got our points across there. Uh, we didn't come to an agreement. We never. Uh, so okay, uh, onions, onions suck. Uh, what do you feel about shallots? Though they look oniony. I don't know that I've ever had a shallot. I don't like green onions or chives. That much I know. So I don't trust no fucking shallots. Hold on a second. You don't even like green no, onions? I don't like green onions. What are they, green? Onions. I told you, Blaine, I don't like onions. They're nasty. They smell terrible. They make your <laughs> breath bad. Everything about them sucks, and we put them everywhere. It's... You pop, you pop an Altoid after I you're mean, done. I mean, okay, that solves one of those problems, but also it's still bad in my mouth. <laughs> uh, before the Altoid, I could just pop an Altoid without eating onions, and I'd be feeling great. Minty fresh breath. All day long, but uh, I think right, I think that's so about. <laughs> I think that's onions are bad. All the juice we're going to be I able do. to squeeze out of this all onion. Right, so let's hop on over to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, one. Th hold on, hold on. Okay, one thing okay, we didn't even that? touch on: the layers. Okay, well everyone knows that onions have layers, and that is fantastic. But uh... see, whenever you think about onions, you think about Shrek, and vice versa. So that's immediately a plus. The greatest cinematic event I mean, in history. Yeah, but Shrek's defining characteristic when he's talking about how much he loves them nasty onions is that he's a nasty, nasty ogre who eats them raw because he's nasty and onions are terrible. Like that's the that's what the def it's the whole thing. It's the point <laughs> of the thing. What they're saying in Shrek is that only a nasty <laughs> really green not. ogre man who we all love, who we all love. <laughs> Would eat an onion like that. Or eat onions at all, maybe. I think the Shrek <laughs> creators agree with me. Turns out there was some more juice. Uh, the, the entire, the entire, stop saying juice. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, now I want to go shove an onion into a food juicer. Make you drink whatever comes Tell out. Tell you what. It's going to be Shrek. As soon piss. as this episode gets to 100 likes on something. Anything, really. We'll make a video of us doing that. Wherever this goes up. <laughs> Listen, I'm just stupid enough to drink onion oh, juice. Oh, good God. Yes, you know I what am... you just signed us You know what you just Blade, signed us up for? Blade, I food juicer. Listen, you I hate masochist. onions. But I will drink onion juice for fame and fortune. Well, may mostly fame. I like onion. I like onions. But I kind of want to draw the line at drinking onion juice. Eh. <laughs> All right. All right. So, in conclusion, if onions you're are fantastic. Uh, let's go on. Let since we're on food, why don't we just continue on with that? You know, beans. Oh, I love beans. Beans are here. Beans are there. You know, beans. Beans the musical fruit, and then some uh, low brow stuff. And then you you fart. <laughs> Shit. Uh, I I don't think. That beans should uh, be in my chilies. Well, they need to of stay course beans shouldn't out of be in my your chilies. chilies. Those are peppers, and generally beans don't grow. But maybe they could if you planted them close enough together, but they're not supposed to. Okay, I thought you said beans <laughs> for a second. I was like, bees don't go in chili no, either. But, but beans. They're dying out. <laughs> we need to save them. But they make it all so spicy when they sting you in the mouth. I don't know how these bees are alive <laughs> after being put in chili, but. The, okay. Hopefully we can stay on topic better in the future. Or maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. I'm having a good time. I'm actually laughing a lot. But the point is... We just gotta... We just, oh we're, yeah, we're just, we just gotta riff. And making... We're making good, we are, strong like, arguments. Beans absolutely belong in chili. Absolutely. Think they about don't. chili. They don't. You think about beans the first. Only That's thing... the first thing I think about when I think about chili. Sure, you got your tomato juice. I don't think about beans first. I think about, like, you know, your ground oh, yes, meats. Ground meats are important for sure. What freak thinks about uh, beans first? Anyone that likes chili? That's good? 
Now, see, beans don't add much at all, except for just a little difference in texture, texture, which is bad. Beans, the texture of the beans, texture. they absorb I don't, the juices I don't want the texture uh, of the beans. Chili. They give you a good beanie, juicy chili flavor. You know what does go in chili? Onions. Yeah, and they're awful. Just like the beans are, because beans don't belong Listen, Blaine, in there. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I can't argue with you that chili or onions go in chili. Because onions apparently go in everything. There you have it, folks. <laughs> onions do work. I'm not saying that they do for me. I'm just saying that the madness around me insists that they do for everybody else. I don't know. Got so much stuff you just can't order without <laughs> onions in it. You know, it's because some of it they don't just make on the spot. I mean, burgers and stuff. It's real easy. But like, I just, I just hate onions so much. But also, beans and chili. Now, that's a big one, because they, they don't absolutely hit. They slap. don't hit. Listen, when I eat no, the chili beans, it, doesn't it work. slaps me way better than them onions. All I want in my chili is meat chunks, some tomato chunks, maybe a little bit of pepper chunk. Ooh, yeah. I don't want to bite down into a bean and just have a, a oh, mush. It's, it's got a good mush, though. Beans are a happy mush, you see. So is ground meat nah, kind nah. of a mushy. If it's if it's got like a little bit of chew to it, but it's mushy-ish. Now, nah, if it's like a baked bean that's on the side, then I'll munch it down. But if it's if you put that shit inside of my chili, we're gonna well, have then a problem. Well, then, Blaine, it sounds like if I ever make you chili, you and me are gonna have problems. Oh, I, I you best believe I'm gonna take about four hours picking every single goddamn pinto bean out of that Bitch, you shit. You and me are gonna have a hoedown throwdown. We're gonna go to the Walmart parking lot, throw some goddamn fists if you take the chilies. Wait, the beans out of my chili. Take the chilies out of my beans, Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna scoop out the chili in with my hands and just leave the beans in the pot. Okay, well that is absolutely wrong to do. I can't pretend I wouldn't be thoroughly impressed to see that. <laughs> Would you please wash your hands first? I'm a clean. I'm yeah. a clean. I don't. I I, I should make it clear. I'm not implying that Blaine doesn't wash his hands. I'm just saying, any time <laughs> before you're about to go digging into food, you should give him another wash just in case. That's just a. <laughs> you're just thinking like you gross bitch. <laughs> wash your hands hey, that's before a you touch squabbles my chin. Pro tip: Wash your hands before handling food. Wash your hands before dipping Absol- them in absolutely. chili. Absolutely. <laughs> Listen, you don't want dirty chili hands. Clean chili hands is a fantastic time. Everybody's having fun. Everybody loves it. You know, you're the chili hands guy. That's awesome. But dirty chili hands, you're just... Uh, you get to share... Yeah, no. You get to if share you your chili with your friends? Hands, when you dip your hands in the chili, nobody's going to want to seductively eat chili off of your fingers. It's just a fact. I, I really just love it when I have a spoonful of chili. Oh... A handful, a handful of chili, of chili. <laughs> helps the medicine go down. A handful of chili, and I just and I just hold it up to my friend's mouth, and they just they just lap it up like a Labrador. Like a Labrador, huh? Well, play. I'm gonna be honest. At this point, we're reminiscing more than anything about chili. I don't know how we got uh, sidetracked there, but well, I, I'm uh, just excited that there's no well, beans there in my be. chili. That's um, why I'm obviously I will so happy still about have it. to fight you in the Walmart parking lot. Uh, so that's sorry about that. If in you scoop my chili out of my beans, Square making up. it no longer chili. You know, if you want to dig through my chili to get all the beans out, you're more than Blaine. I'd have to be digging through your chili to get the beans in. Are you washing your hands Absolutely first? I'm washing my hands first. Before I go digging in chili, of course, I gotta eat that chili. I don't know where my... Well, I do I do exclusively know where my hands have been. What were you gonna say? I say I don't know where my hands have been, but they're kind of right there most of the time. But I don't know <laughs> where the things my hands have touched have been. I usually have my eyes in my hands at most times. Listen, so I know I where my in hands an are. I don't know what kind of monster lived here before and used their dirty hands to touch all of the things here. And that's just one example. Like, you know, sometimes you go outside in the public. I I live in an apartment building. If I go outside, I got to use the public door to come on in. You can't just, I could, I should start carrying Lysol wipes with me everywhere. No, that'd be crazy. (laughs) You're just walking around with like a, (laughs) 
a bottle of Lysol Spray any door handle. with you at all times. Like a little like a little hand sanitizer in your back pocket or on a keychain. That's all you need, I hope. <laughs> Unless Oh wait, we are in real dark times right now, so maybe not. Maybe yeah, you do actually, need Lysol um, wipes with you. You at really all times. should just <laughs> Start carrying, like, a holster of Lysol wipes so you can flip them out. Maybe do a cool little, like, throw them mm. up and flip it and catch it before you pop it open with your thumb and rip some out to wash off your Walmart shopping cart. Because Walmart didn't put out their wipes today for some reason. Alright. So, I think... <laughs> so, yeah, okay. After that, in conclusion, beans don't go in chili. Onions are good. Yeah, let's let's go, just I have think, a second here. Things got a little bit heated back there. And then we we forgot, but things did get <laughs> heated for a bit. So I think we need to go to the chill out tent, have a fun story, and just relax before we, you know, Terry Taylor's French a little bit more. So Blake, I'm calling for a vibe check. All right, Blake, can I? I need to be honest with you, buddy. What'd you do? I don't even like chili. At all. Beans or no. I eat... It's... Wait, no, hold it's, up. It's, wait, it's chili wait, has wait a second. beans in it. I just don't like chili. And there's a reason for that. There was, <laughs> okay. There this was is news one to day, me. <laughs> there was a single day in my life that I liked chili. Now, at a young age, I always avoided chili. Because, well, of all the onions in it. That was a big part of why I didn't like chili. <laughs> But there was one day, <laughs> one fateful day, that was probably like 10-ish, I don't know, somewhere around there. My dad was making his chili, and for the first time, he really convinced me to try it. And despite the onions, not because of, despite the onions, after taking a few bites, I really liked it. Beans and all. It was amazing. It was so good that I ate like two... Two bowls? Maybe three? I don't know. I was like ten. I probably ate a lot. I don't remember what I ate back then. The point is, I ate I ate a lot of chili. And this wasn't too long before bed. I ate a lot of chili right before bed. <laughs> I, I'm hoping and, I'm not knowing where this is going right now. <laughs> I don't believe you are, but you're closer than you want to be. See, I think maybe <laughs> I, I could throw off theories about why this happened to me, but I really don't know. I went to bed. About an hour later, I, I wake up. Something's wrong. Something is very wrong. I run myself to the bathroom and immediately projectile vomit chili everywhere. Oh, it was all over. And this is the only time in my life <laughs> I've understood projectile vomit because wow, did it fucking fly. And uh, ever since then, I kind of can't stand chili in any form. But I liked it once. I okay, liked I can it understand exactly that. Exactly one time, and I flew too close to the sun, Blade. <laughs> I just I flew too close. Uh, okay, that's that's a bit that's a bit of a yikes. I gotta say. Uh, did you? Was this like in the middle of the night, or was it still like? I at mean, it was decent like time. Ten year old to like call for help for your parents. Oh, it, it was easy time to call for help from my parents. You know, it was like 10-year-old middle of the night. It was maybe 10, 11 o'clock at night. Okay. So you were sitting there crying after vomiting everything, and then they were all like, I don't recall Damn. if there were tears, but it wouldn't surprise me. Let me tell you, in, in case it I would not have clear, cried. the chili did not all make it into the bowl. <laughs> not by far. I assume the rest of it went into the shower. No, I was at the toilet. When I projectile vomited <laughs> all over the toilet and the floor, some of it made it into the bowl. It was messy. All right, I can understand you're not liking yeah, of chili, but uh, but the fact that you still have an opinion on chili is is real impressive. I because it absolutely has beans in it. It's always had beans in it. Of course, chili has beans in it. One time, someone uh, served me chili without beans in it, and I was confused. I'm like, "Where's the beans in this chili?" But I think my aunt is like allergic to beans or something. So. And then whoever served you the beans was the, like, beans don't go in chili, you freak. What? Nobody served me the beans. They served me the chili without beans. Yeah, exactly. They didn't serve you the beans in the chili that they served you because well, beans don't go wrong, in chili. Because beans do. 
wow, we can really hop back into one pretty easy, huh? This is our first episode. This is a lot of exploration yeah, this, for us. It's this, very interesting the ways we can go. This this tent is on fire right now. <laughs> well, if that's the case, uh, why don't we move on? Since, I was going to say, since we're back into it at this point, uh, how about we, I mean, we've done two food things in a row, and we've also had a story about food, so let's get into something that I think is going to be real juicy. Blaine, you told me just a little bit ago to stop saying juice. How come you get to say it? Because this isn't onions. Oh, okay. This this isn't onion juice. This is metaphorical. Yeah, because thinking about onions makes you uncomfortable, and they're nasty juices. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Do children's game shows hit or miss? Miss, I just, I was never interested in them. Oh, they, they hit, and they hit hard. They absolutely do not. I mean, what even, which ones are there? I know almost none of them. Uh, how much time you got? How much time does this podcast have we on? We don't know yet. Because here actually, we go. Um, we'll, we'll know that at the end. We have such, we have such hits as Figure It Out, Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple, uh, Double Dare, uh... That's all I can think of, like, off the top of my head, but those... See, I've never those heard of any of these, and I watched... I know they are Nickelodeon. I, I should clarify, I have heard of them now. I literally just did seconds ago when Blaine talked about them, but just at heard the of time, them. I hadn't heard of them. And I watched a decent amount of Nickelodeon. You know, love me some SpongeBob, gotta get some Drake and Josh in. Um, now, the game shows I have heard of for kids. Now, I remember Cartoon Network had a game show or two. And uh, the only one I remember for sure is Hole in the Wall. And that shit, it, it was, I mean, you can pretty much guess what it is. There's a hole in the wall. It's approximately human shaped. And a human has to, as the wall comes towards them, fit themselves into the hole. It's uh, it's super simple and not at all interesting. To watch. It would be fun to play. I'll give you, I would like to play Hole in the Wall, but I don't want to watch it. On that note, this is a little bit off topic, but... Do you remember, dude, what would happen? Because that was just... I don't. Oh, it was awful. It was just discount Mythbusters <laughs> for, like, five-year-olds. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm not even kidding. 100% it was discount Mythbusters, and it wasn't great. I might... I might have to give that a look, because you got me curious about it. The only one I remember is, dude, what would happen if we filled a car with water or something like that? It's like Mythbusters, but you throw science out the window. Oh, wait. Wait, I think I do remember that. I didn't, like, watch it, but I think I remember, like, seeing an ad for it or something like that. But yeah, I'm, I've never, like, actually watched it, I don't think. Alright, so I'm gonna count that as a game show, even though it's not, and it's trash. I don't think it's a game- I wouldn't count it as a game show. Uh, it's absolutely not a game show, but I'm counting it because I only have one example right now, and I, I really need to bring something to the table. Would you count myth? Would you, would you count MythBusters as a game show? No. Well, no, because it's not a disc. It's not discount MythBusters. Listen, Blaine, I don't have any logic or reasoning here. I just only know the one game show, and I really need something else to work with. Oh, let me hit you with my game shows. Destroy, build, destroy was one actually. That was pretty much a game show. That one was a cool concept, but I. Uh, Eh, I was just never into it. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's, they destroy something, but, they oh, build something my the rubble, favorite. And then they get to destroy <laughs> it again. I mean, great concept, but once again, I, I don't want to watch a bunch of other people do it. I want to be up in there. So yeah, the best, one of the best uh, TV stations at the time was Nick Gas, which is Nickelodeon Games and Sports. And that's where all the game shows were on. And oh man, that was some good shit. Blaine, I don't, I don't know if I want to hear you tell me about Nick's gas. It's really fun. You're going to love it. Okay. So, so these these game shows that hit hard, uh, my personal favorite was Figure It Out. You have all the classic Nickelodeon, you know, stars from, like, the Amanda show and all that. You know, those ep those oh, fantastic yes. shows. So, yeah, they're on, a, they're on a panel, and the host brings in a kid, and... Uh, they, the kid has this, like, special talent or something. It's never a special talent. Of course it's not. It's They're just, kids. like, some, it's just some random, it's just some random shit. Like, I can- I mean, kids can do some cool shit, but I could probably do most of it, too. <laughs> well. <laughs> right now? <laughs> maybe if I went to the gym for a month or so. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this kid has this special talent, and they have, like, uh, kind of like, uh, what's it called? Uh, 
like a wheel of fortune kind of like spell out you know like whatever the talent is kind of thing and they have to ask like the nick stars have to ask this kid questions uh you know about what their talent is and you know they have the classic nickelodeon green slime that rains down if they say something or do something and it was so fun See, I, just, I loved it i don't know that you know what's a good game show you touched on it wheel of fortune because you can play along at home so easy. You don't even have to try. You watch Wheel of Fortune and you're playing along. You don't have to try. You're not going to think about it. You're <laughs> playing along. Wheel of Fortune. That's a that's real true, too. <laughs> I think Wheel of Fortune is the best game show. And none of these kitty kitties. You know, like I used to watch Wheel of Fortune as a kid because it was a great game show. I didn't care about these kitty shows. I was watching real adult TV. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't know if you want to say I was watching real adult TV as a child. Listen, me and my friend Pat say Jack, we spent a lot of time together as a kid. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> as I watched Wheel of Fortune, uh, without pay, uh, Pat say Jack physically present. Pat say Jack's the Wheel of Fortune guy, right? It is. Yeah, that's Pat. Okay, fantastic. I'm glad I'm right about that, because otherwise I would have sounded real silly. Oh, that would have been so good. You were going to be so confident. Like, you yeah, Alex wrong. Trebek, me and him used to spend all the time together when I was watching Wheel of Fortune with him in it. That would have been awful. Oh, that would have that would have gone in, though. It w oh, absolutely. It would have been fucking hilarious. I would have been laughing. Uh, yeah. The other, probably the most well-known game show was Legends of the Hidden Temple. I mean, you've... Have you never uh, heard of that until heard now? I've heard of that one briefly. I don't know anything about what it's about. I've seen the name. You have Olmec. The Okay, so there's teams of a bunch of kids, obviously. And you have Olmec, a big, like, face in rocks, tell you a neat story from, you know, this forgotten land or something. And... The kids, you know, answer questions and do, like, obstacles that pertain to the tale that he's telling. And then at the end, there's, like, one team left. And they're entering... Oh, man, I forgot what it's called. But it's basically just a giant maze. And they need to recover these b parts of an artifact. And if they do, they Shit. win. It's so much fun. It's such a classic I really, I, game I show. Really, like, I really want to argue with you here. That's sort of what I'm supposed to be doing. But fuck, I... I'm a sucker for parts of an artifact. I'm just a sucker for it. Gets me every time. <laughs> so yeah, I'll give you I'll give you that one. Yeah. But <laughs> hole in the wall. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, come on though. There's a Come on, haven't you ever wanted to make shapes? It's like with I, your body? And I literally I figured it out while recording this podcast, mind you. I, I went on a spiel about it. It's the ability to play along at home. That's what makes a good game show. That's what makes or breaks a game show. But, oh, it's all about the kids in these kids' game shows. As, by the way, it absolutely should be. They're having a fantastic time. That is great for them. I just don't want to watch it. Uh, and then Guts. I mean, you were, you're arguing playing along at, playing along at home. Uh, Guts is absolutely not a playing along at home. Because that's basically just like a big obstacle course games thing okay. for kids. And then, ooh, you would not believe how badly me as a kid wanting to climb the aggro crag i've heard and get a I've piece of that trophy aggro crag <laughs> that's the mountain they climb at the end oh, okay. and it's you a see, lot of fun in that vein this one also has like no play along at home did you ever watch mxc on spike television oh oh yes i did i loved that <laughs> so i did love that one that one for anyone who doesn't know it was actually originally, I believe, a Japanese game show? Yep, Japanese. Um, okay, yes. And it was just a huge obstacle course game show. Well, MXC, which is short for Most Extreme Challenges, is literally just that game show, but they dubbed it over in English, and they say funny things instead of an actual translation. And I don't know, when I was like 10, it was pretty awesome. I haven't seen it in a while. The one guy's name was Ken? God, wasn't, wasn't that also on, like, Spike? tv or something yes it, it was it was on spike that is the exact <laughs> one is spike still around oh man spike tv no it's not it's not anymore okay well deserved because they had they the had... weirdest shit like they had like mansers y'all remember mansers okay, you know, here's i don't think I saw it's any bananas here, here's a here's a link between our two topics sort of it's still a little bit off topic but it's closer to on spike tv 
had a version of an originally Nickelodeon show, Ren and Stimpy. Now, I don't know how many people have seen uh, Ren and Stimpy on Nickelodeon, but Nickelodeon in the 90s got away with some weird shit. Ren and Stimpy is awesome, but (laughs) it is fuck wild for a children's show. Now, Spike took that and turned it Uh. into an adult show. And I've never seen an episode, but I can almost guarantee you it is so disgustingly vulgar that it is not even funny. It's just, why am I watching this? Oh, so it's pretty much just like shock value for the sake of shock value? I assume, like I said, I have never seen an episode, but it was not reviewed very well. And I mean, yeah, probably it's red and stimpy, but they tried to put adult humor in it, which means it's just ha ha sex every 20 seconds, I think. See, they have adult humor in children's shows today. It's just more subtle. Yeah. So the adults can laugh at it. And yeah, the kids exactly. Are like, ha ha, this what? Was I don't get aimed it. aimed at adults. And it was Ren and Stimpy. It was apparently no good. And I'm just going to take people's word for that on that, on that one. I'll watch the 90s version. Oh, absolutely. I love me some Ren and Stimpy. Every single day I would watch the 90s version. Uh, the, way, the way you've described this, never. Oh, uh, yeah. Ex- I mean... That's good because I've described it as I know it, which is that I would never watch it, and that's all I know, that's all I know about it. <laughs> but the I mean, original Ren and Stimpy, you got you got don't whiz on the electric fence. That's why I know the song Hall of the Mountain King because I don't remember why there was some naked old guy running into a lake to uh, skinny dip, and it played Hall of the Mountain King the whole time. And it was pretty awesome. It was just a great show. Uh, I loved it. Just nineties Nickelodeon. And Cartoon Network. Oh, they were both prime shows. All of them. Oh, absolutely they were. Cat Dog, Cat Dog Courage, Hey Arnold. Courage is Cartoon Network. Oh, Rocket Power. I know, I'm just saying both. I'm just both. Oh, oh, both okay. Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. See, I was never... Disney hit every once in a while, but Disney didn't have that many hits for me, to be honest. The only good Disney show, in my opinion, was Hannah Montana. See, I never watched much Hannah Montana. Uh, I, I loved... Uh, Phineas and Ferb is actually pretty good. Didn't watch much of that at all. I loved Zack and Cody. Zack and Cody was obviously good. Oh, how could I... F- how could I forget Zack and Cody? Oh my god! I mean, I think they started to lose it a little bit on uh, with Sweet Life on Deck, but I, I still watched it. I still liked it. Okay, yeah, I, I've i completely forgot. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody was also um, prime. So good. I, I definitely, I liked Wizards of Waverly Place. That was a pretty good one. Eh, it wasn't. It wasn't for me. Okay, this has devolved into a cartoon talk podcast somehow from game shows in the last five that's, minutes. But that's fine. Oh, okay. It's it's good that we did start start talking about Disney a little bit because did Disney have any game shows? I don't believe they did, except for, I remember one summer during the Olympics, they had, like, the Disney Olympics, and they had a bunch of the Disney actors do some, like, obstacle courses or something. That, that literally what, that was, uh, I was gonna bring that up, because, like, I was gonna ask, like, did they even have anything, and then I was gonna go into that. But other than that, like, I l- remember that, I loved when that happened, because it was so too. cool. I don't remember... Was there even any like show, like a no, half hour like just, show segment, or was it only was it only just during like commercials? It was just during commercials because Disney never had commercials really, except for Disney shows. Like Disney would show you what's going on on Disney, and so they just had a super easy slot to put it in right there. Um, and I don't remember a whole lot about it, whether it's close enough to be considered a game show, but I think so. I was following it online. I was trying to win me some I, of those Wizards of Waverly Place wands, because that would have been sick. I didn't get them, though. I don't remember how <laughs> I could have, but I tried. Yeah, that's another place where Disney Channel didn't hit as hard as the other ones. I liked Wizards of Waverly Place. Maybe that's they, because um, one of the main characters' names was Alex. I like people named Alex. I don't know. There's something about it. I can't quite put my finger on what it is. That's really odd, Alex. I don't know why that would be. Yeah, I'm not sure what the connection there is. Uh, it's something, though, I'm sure. I'll find it one of these days. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll brainstorm. Well, why don't we, uh, maybe we should try and figure that out next week. Do you think here's here's about time for that? Yeah, I'm good with that. Yeah, I was thinking so. I would say we've we've been arguing <laughs> for a little bit. We, we've kind of broadened into just 90s television in general. 
this uh this definitely took a different direction than I expected, but I've been enjoying it. Hopefully you have too. I'm alright. Uh I think this is the format we're gonna keep. We're gonna start with an argument and then whatever happens, happens. When we get bored or just think it's time to change, we'll move into the next one. Episodes might get longer in the future. And you know, this is the first episode. We're playing with some stuff, but we're finding our groove. Oh, and we're going to find that groove, and it's going to... I mean, I already know this episode's fucking hilarious, uh, not to brag, but I heard it, and it's going to just get better and better. I said it. Wayne said it. I heard him say it. And it's just going to get better and better as we find our groove, because we're not there yet. We got some grooves to work out, but it's going to get groovy. Ooh, we're, so we're, we're, we're going to go back to the <laughs> 70s, then. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get our groove on. It was groovy in the 70s, right? Yeah, yeah, 70s was groovy. Was that 60s? I think 70s must have been groovy. 70s was groovy. It had to have been. Was, 60, was 60s groovy or was that... Because 60s was very hippie. Is groovy is is groovy and disco the same thing? Or how does that work? I, don't, I associate groovy with hippies for some reason, but I also do associate it okay. with disco. How about 69? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought of that. That's but that was a, That was a good year. Oh, uh, who was that one guy that sang about the summer of 69? How am I forgetting? Oh my god, I don't know, because I'm forgetting too, and I don't know how. Was it Bruce Springsteen? No, it nah. wasn't Bruce Springsteen. Hey, uh, how about, if y'all know it, how about you send us an email and tell us what it is? If you also want to tell us your opinions on the topics we have brought forward, also send us another email. And like we said at the beginning, hit us up with topics that you want to hear us talk about. All that you can send to paltrysquabbles at gmail.com. And if you liked this episode, I know it was the first episode, maybe it was a little bit rocky. I think it was great. If you really did like it, and if you want to hear more, I really encourage you to give us a like and a follow. I know nobody likes <laughs> that long spiel, but it really does help with the growth of a podcast, which is going to help us keep making episodes. And even more than that, just introduce it to your friends. I can't think of, or rather, I can't think of so many podcasts that I just introduce to friends and get them into it. And it's great because now you have someone to talk about it with. Oh, yeah. You ever have a topic that only you're interested in and you just like are sitting there so anxious, like, let me tell someone. I don't want to just like, I'm just going to go to this <laughs> random stranger. It's like, oh, have you seen this? Just trial and error until you find one. Oh, no, try tell, that tell too. Maybe friends. you can meet new friends with our <laughs> podcast. Just go up and ask everybody and someone will get excited and re recognize what you're doing eventually, hopefully. You might alienate everyone in your life before that happens. But Just a fair that's warning. fine. As long as we're getting the listens for it. And you're having a laugh. You still have us. You still have us. You'll always have us. Alright, on that creepy note, I think um, we really need to come, out, come up with a sign-off, but I don't think right now is the time to brainstorm that. So for now... Nah, you Actually, know, I think it's fine. For now. Uh, bye bye, everyone. You'll always have us. Oh, I love you. <laughs> bye.